Welcome to the cinematic landscape of 1953, where Fred Zinnemann's From Here to Eternity unfolds against the backdrop of pre-World War II Hawaii. This timeless classic, adapted from James Jones' novel, weaves a narrative that explores the complexities of love, loyalty, and the human spirit. As you revisit this cinematic gem, have you ever pondered upon lesser-known facts or anecdotes that add an intriguing layer to its legacy? Whether it's your initial encounter with the film or a recent revisit, the enduring appeal of From Here to Eternity prompts reflection. Perhaps the first time you witnessed the powerful performances of Burt Lancaster, Montgomery Clift, and Deborah Kerr, or the impactful portrayal of military life resonated with you. When did the reels of this classic first flicker before your eyes? Now, let's delve into some captivating details about the film. Did you know that the iconic beach scene with Burt Lancaster and Deborah Kerr locked in a passionate embrace faced initial censorship challenges? The unyielding waves crashing around them symbolized a tempestuous love affair, challenging societal norms. As we journey through the annals of cinematic history, share your most cherished memory or personal experience related to From Here to Eternity. Your stories add depth to the tapestry of shared nostalgia. We would love to hear your anecdotes and reflections in the comments below. Unearth the hidden gems of this cinematic masterpiece and let the conversations flow. Explore the nuances that make From Here to Eternity not just a film but a shared experience, etched in the collective memory of cinema enthusiasts. In adapting James Jones' novel for the screen, screenwriter Daniel Teradash faced the formidable task of condensing 950 pages into a two-hour film. The novel, known for its explicit content and colorful language, presented a challenge in maintaining its essence within the constraints of the era's cinematic norms. Despite the novel's explicit nature, the film opted for a more sanitized approach, a choice that didn't sit well with Jones himself. One notable aspect of the film is the limited on-screen interaction between Montgomery Clift and Deborah Kerr. The two actors share only one scene in the entire movie, devoid of any spoken dialogue. The scene unfolds as Cliff's character, Pruitt, arrives at the military base and is shown around by Warden. Kerr's character, Karen, enters the base behind them, marking the solitary moment of their on-screen connection. These unique elements contribute to the distinct character of From Here to Eternity, offering a glimpse into the challenges of adapting a provocative novel for a 1950s audience and showcasing a selective on-screen dynamic between key characters. Deborah Kerr's unexpected choice to portray an adulterous wife in the 1953 movie From Here to Eternity raised eyebrows. Known for her prim and proper roles, Kerr's decision took many by surprise. Despite facing initial rejection from Columbia head Harry Cohn, director Fred Zinnemann, and screenwriter Daniel Teradash found the idea intriguing. The film's source material, James Jones' best-selling novel, set high expectations. Even actor Ernest Borgnine, confident in his destiny, boasted to friends that had secure a role if a film adaptation ever materialized. True to his prediction, Borgnine auditioned and landed the part of Fatso Judson. Director Fred Zinnemann's insistence on shooting in black and white was a deliberate choice. He believed that color would trivialize the film, maintaining a serious tone aligned with the source material. Zinnemann also bucked the trend of widescreen ratios, favoring a more traditional approach. These behind-the-scenes choices, from Kerr's unconventional casting to Zinnemann's deliberate filmmaking decisions, add layers to the narrative of From Here to Eternity. The film's success lies not just in its on-screen dynamics, but in the intriguing stories that unfolded behind the camera. Deborah Kerr and Burt Lancaster's on-screen chemistry in the 1953 movie From Here to Eternity was not just confined to the camera frame. While the film is renowned for its adaptation challenges and behind-the-scenes choices, one intriguing fact stands out Care and Lancaster were romantically involved during filming. Their off-screen relationship added a layer of authenticity to their on-screen dynamics, providing a nuanced portrayal of the characters. This real-life connection between the lead actors, undisclosed at the time, subtly influenced the emotional depth of their performances. Amidst the adaptation hurdles and deliberate filmmaking decisions, the personal involvement of Kerr and Lancaster injects an interesting dimension into the narrative. As the characters navigate love and conflict on screen, 
The genuine emotions shared by the actors behind the scenes contribute to the enduring legacy of From Here to Eternity. In the midst of Hollywood's adaptation skepticism and directorial choices, the untold romance between Kerr and Lancaster remains a captivating aspect of this classic film. Frank Sinatra's salary for the film was a measly $8,000 reflecting his low standing in the industry at that time. Despite his modest paycheck, Sinatra's role in From Here to Eternity played a crucial part in reviving his career. Sinatra's financial struggles and the unique circumstances surrounding his casting underscore the dynamic nature of the film industry in the early 1950s. At a time when established stars like Burt Lancaster and Montgomery Clift were making headlines, Sinatra's involvement brought an unexpected element to the ensemble cast. The disparity in salaries among the cast members sheds light on the shifting fortunes within Hollywood during this era. Sinatra's meager earnings, juxtaposed with the success of his co-stars, serves as a testament to the industry's unpredictable nature and the resilience required to navigate its challenges. While Sinatra's contribution to the film might have been undervalued in monetary terms, his presence became a turning point in his career trajectory. The movie's success, coupled with Sinatra's compelling performance, marked a pivotal moment in the actor's comeback, setting the stage for his later achievements in both film and music. In the intricate tapestry of From Here to Eternity, Sinatra's modest salary becomes a symbol of the broader narrative of Hollywood's ebb and flow during the 1950s. The movie not only captured the complexities of relationships on screen, but also mirrored the intricate dynamics of the entertainment industry during a transformative period. Frank Sinatra's journey from a modest paycheck to a career resurgence serves as a compelling subplot within the larger story of From Here to Eternity, highlighting the unpredictable nature of fame and fortune in the world of cinema. In the grand scheme of Hollywood history, this film stands as a reflection of an era marked by shifting tides and unexpected turns. Montgomery Clift's dedication to his role as Pruitt in the 1953 movie From Here to Eternity went beyond the screen. He immersed himself in the character, going as far as learning to play the bugle, even though he knew his musical performance would be dubbed in the final cut. Additionally, Clift took boxing lessons to authentically portray the challenges faced by his character. Director Fred Zinnemann acknowledged Clift's impact, stating that Clift's commitment elevated the performances of the entire cast compelling them to deliver genuinely outstanding reactions. Clift's dedication to his craft set the tone for the film's success. However, despite his remarkable portrayal, Clift faced disappointment at the Oscars. Uncharacteristically caring about awards, he was confident in his performance as Pruitt and became despondent when he lost the Oscar to William Holden for Staleg 17. Upon release, the film's popularity soared to unprecedented levels. The Capitol Theater in New York City, overwhelmed by the demand, remained open 24-7. Brief closures only occurred in the early morning, allowing janitors to sweep the floor. This unparalleled reception spoke volumes about the film's impact and the audience's appetite for the gripping narrative it delivered. Montgomery Clift's dedication, the Oscar disappointment, and the overwhelming demand for the film at the Capitol Theater together form a fascinating narrative around the 1953 movie From Here to Eternity. These aspects not only shed light on the behind-the-scenes dedication of the actors, but also underscore the film's enduring appeal and cultural significance. As we bid adieu to the timeless classic, from here to eternity, let the echoes of its poignant narrative linger in the corridors of your memory. Like a sepia tone photograph capturing a moment suspended in time, this 1953 gem unveils the intricacies of passion, honor, and the indomitable human spirit. As you reflect on the tale that unfolded against the backdrop of the sun-kissed Hawaiian shores, consider the resonance it holds in the chapters of your own life. Perhaps it ignited a flame of nostalgia, transporting you to a bygone era, or maybe its characters mirrored the complexity of your own journey. Now, I extend an invitation, a cinematic handshake, if you will. Share with us the fragments of your soul that found solace in the narrative, the scenes that etched themselves into your consciousness, and the emotions that the film coaxed from the depths of your being. Let your voice join the chorus of those who have, over the years, found refuge in the embrace of this cinematic masterpiece. Whether you pen your thoughts, paint them on the canvas of social media, or whisper them to the wind, let the world know the indelible mark from here to eternity left on your heart. 
Your story becomes a mosaic, enriching the tapestry of collective reminiscence that weaves through the decades. Thank you for embarking on this cinematic journey with us, for allowing the magic of storytelling to weave its spell around you. Until we meet again under the spell of another masterpiece, keep the flame of passion burning, and may the echoes of eternity resonate within you.